Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. In this presentation, we will discuss what a functional MRI is, the purpose of an fMRI, how does an fMRI work before and after having an fMRI, the pros and cons of having an fMRI. Make sure to like our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell to be notified of future videos. Please click on our donate link in the description section below and donate today. Your donation helps us to make a difference for those battling epilepsy. We appreciate your support. A functional MRI is a piece of technology that forms a picture of what is happening inside the patient's brain. This is often done before surgery to determine where a tumor is. These images are then sent to the neurosurgeon who can evaluate the specific brain region that requires surgery and what parts to avoid. It is pain-free and often plays a pivotal role in brain surgery. An fMRI works by using the same technology as an MRI. To take the image, the patient will lie in a tube-shaped magnet that uses the body's neurons to measure blood flow. This happens because where the brain is more active, it will send out more electrical signals. By performing an fMRI, we can measure the oxygen levels in the blood. If the oxygen level go up, we can measure the surrounding blood vessels and the resulting change in blood flow. Once inside the scanner, patients are given activities to perform. This can include simple tasks such as thinking, memorizing, or gripping. The active regions of the brain will then light up on the scanner, and by finding out what places are active during these actions, the surgeon will know what neurotransmitting pathways to avoid. An fMRI can last anywhere between 40 to 55 minutes and is often painless. However, since you are in an enclosed space, some people may experience claustrophobia. Some places may require you change into their hospital gown before the MRI. Guidelines on what you eat will be provided, but you can safely assume to consume your daily diet and medications unless told otherwise. Some fMRIs may include injections of materials to help isolate the neurons and create the picture. If you are pregnant or have other medical conditions, consult your doctor. Leave all jewelry at home or remove them before the scan occurs. Metal will interfere with the magnetic fields surrounding your body. If you have metal implants, consult your doctor. After performing the fMRI, you will collect your belongings and leave the scanning area. The doctor will receive a report of your fMRI results. An fMRI should usually be performed one to two days before the surgery. If surgery does not immediately follow, you should meet with the doctor to determine the best form of surgery and how much of the brain they should remove. An fMRI comes with a variety of benefits, but it also has some negatives. Pros. It is a non-invasive technique that does not expose you to radiation. It can help doctors evaluate the structures and processes of your organs, can detect abnormalities and assess organ structure, no known health risks associated with the procedure, cons, possibility of an allergic reaction to the injection, anxiety and stress may produce movements that can cause the test to prolong, generally more expensive than other imaging tests, possible risk if pregnant, and various issues, including irregular heartbeat or life support equipment, can affect image quality. In conclusion, a functional MRI is often a feasible option for patients requiring brain surgery in the following days. The fMRI allows doctors to map out your brain and its functions to determine what they can cut and remove from the brain. The fMRI does this by measuring the oxygen in your brain by examining the blood vessels as your brain goes through a series of tests that determines your brain sections and their functions. 
It is often painless, but can easily be affected by twitchy movement, so remain still during the exam. An fMRI is a huge part of brain surgery. To learn more about functional MRIs, please check out the resources used in the presentation today. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media pages. We would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below or email us at info at defeatingepilepsy.org. Thank you for your support and together we will defeat epilepsy. Check out our other great videos and subscribe today. You have the power to defeat epilepsy.